Why is everyone so scared of Jay Prince? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a beast, you know what I mean? In them streets, you know, heard about, you know what I mean? The, the shit that had happened to people back in the day, you know what I mean? So when you hear those stories and you see how you move, you know, that be, that be scared of you, you know what I mean? Period. Is your reasoning because you've seen it play out like this before? Because everybody says you warned Diddy and Big about, about being in LA at the time. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it, you know. I. Uh, actually turned my whole bus around. I was, you know, a long ways out and just to go back to Puffy and Big and let them know what I had felt and things that I heard in the streets. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most controversial, feared, and powerful families in the world of hip hop, the Prince family. From humble beginnings in the mean streets of Houston's Fifth Ward to becoming a music empire and allegedly controlling the streets, the Prince family has cemented its name in the industry. But with that power comes fear, and there's no shortage of rumors and controversy surrounding their rise to prominence. The whispers about their involvement in several high-profile deaths in hip-hop, including the recent tragedy of Takeoff, have only added to the family's mystique. In today's video, we'll explore who the Princes are, how they gained control, and why they are the family no one dares cross in the rap world. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get started. To understand how Mob Ties became one of the most feared organizations in hip hop, we need to start with the man behind it all, James Prince, better known as Jay Prince. He was born and raised in Houston's Fifth Ward, one of the roughest and most dangerous neighborhoods in the city. Poverty, violence, and drugs were rampant, and for most people growing up in that environment, there weren't many opportunities for success. It's hard not to be a little jealous of James Smith. At the age of 28, this young man who grew up in the Houston ghetto is now a self-made millionaire. Prince's story begins in the Coke Apartments, an infamous housing complex known for its poverty and crime. His mother was just 16 when she had him, and by the time Prince was in his teens, he had already witnessed more death and violence than most people see in a lifetime. He lost his sister at a young age age, and many of his family members were involved in abuse. But unlike many others, Prince was determined to escape the cycle of poverty and carve out a better future for himself. Early on, he set his sights on helping his younger brother, who was a talented rapper, get off the streets. But there was one major obstacle, money. Prince knew that in order to make his dreams a reality, he needed to hustle, and hustle he did. He worked every job he could find, from welding to banking, before eventually starting his own used car business. What set Prince apart from the rest was his ability to network. His car dealership connected him to wealthy athletes, business executives, and music moguls, and these connections laid the foundation for what would soon become one of the most successful independent hip-hop labels in history, Rap-A-Lot Records. The birth of Rap-A-Lot Records. In 1986, after saving up enough money from his car dealership, Prince made a bold move. He shut down the business and used the space to build a recording studio. This was the official launch of Rap-A-Lot Records. His goal was simple, to keep his brother and other talented rappers off the streets and into the recording booth. However, the early days weren't easy. Prince needed more than just his brother to make Rap-A-Lot a success, so he scoured Houston's clubs and neighborhoods for new talent. It wasn't long before he struck gold, discovering Bushwick Bill, Willie D, and Scarface, three rappers who would go on to form the legendary group, The Ghetto Boys. Their raw, unapologetic sound captured the essence of life in the Fifth Ward, and they quickly gained national attention. Coming up as a child, I dealt with so much, man. And there's some things that I can't talk about. Oh, I bet there's a lot you can't yeah. talk about. I done dealt with so much that this instilled in me, man. Because I've been dealing with this since a kid. Like, he always let us know, hey, man, these people don't like me, so they might not like y'all. Mm. So his situations, we had to deal with, too. With the Ghetto Boys leading the charge, Rap-A-Lot Records took off. The label's success wasn't just based on music. It was built on loyalty and protection. Prince made it clear that anyone who signed with Rap-A-Lot was under his protection. And in the dangerous world of hip-hop, that protection was invaluable. As Rap-A-Lot grew, so did Jay Prince's reputation, not just as a music executive, but as a man you didn't want to mess with. Prince wasn't just building a record label, 
he was creating a network of power and respect that extended far beyond the music industry. One of the most famous incidents that cemented Prince's reputation as a feared mediator happened during a dispute between Pimp C and Master P. Pimp C felt that he wasn't being properly compensated for a collaboration, and things escalated quickly. Rumors started circulating that Master P had even threatened to kidnap Pimp C. Before things could get out of hand, Jay Prince stepped in. He made a single phone call to Master P, and just like that, the conflict was resolved. No violence, no threats, just a simple reminder of who was in charge. Hey, he called P and told P to, you know, pump his brakes, keep it on wax, you know what I mean? Like, I done seen, been in the airport with them. Mystical, all his bodyguards, everybody, I, they could just meme mug me. We all sitting down there two, three rows from each other. All they could do is meme mug me. Can't do shit because of the old man, so. Jay is connected. <laughs> this incident was just one of many where Prince used his influence to resolve conflicts without violence. But make no mistake, Prince's ability to mediate wasn't just about being diplomatic, it was also about the underlying message. If you cross Jay Prince or anyone under his protection, there will be consequences. As Rapalot Records continued to grow, Jay Prince began to explore new ventures. By the early 2000s, he had already established himself as a powerhouse in the music industry, but he wasn't content to stop there. In 2003, Prince made a surprising move. He entered the world of boxing and became the manager of Floyd Mayweather. At the time, Mayweather was a rising star in the boxing world, but he wasn't yet the global icon he is today. Under Prince's management, Mayweather's career took off, and he became one of the highest paid athletes in the world. However, their partnership didn't last long. According to reports, Mayweather started to resent Prince's 20% management fee and decided to get out of the contract. He scheduled fights outside of the contract's time limits, effectively cutting Prince out of the earnings. But Prince wasn't someone who took being cut out lightly. Man, it's far Mayweather for four years. Prince allegedly made a phone call to Bob Arum, Mayweather's promoter, and demanded his cut. Arum, a man with deep connections in the boxing world, knew better than to mess with Prince. Rather than escalate the situation, he cut Prince a check for $600,000 to keep the peace. This incident showed the world that Jay Prince wasn't just feared in the music industry. His influence extended into sports and beyond. It was another example of how his power wasn't just about wealth. It was about respect and control. While Jay Prince was busy building his empire, his sons, Jay Prince Jr., Jazz Prince and Baby Jay, were growing up in a world far different from the one their father had known. Raised in luxury, they didn't experience the same struggles their father had faced in the Fifth Ward, but Jay Prince made sure to instill in them the same values of loyalty, respect, and power. Each of the Prince brothers has taken a different path in the family business. Jazz Prince is best known for discovering Drake on MySpace in 2008 and connecting him with Lil Wayne and Birdman. But it's Jay Prince Jr. who has arguably had the most significant impact on the family's legacy by founding Mob Ties. Mob Ties, short for movement of bosses together in elevated structure, quickly gained a reputation in the hip-hop world. Under Jay Prince Jr.'s leadership, Mob Ties became known for demanding that artists check in when they came to Houston. If you didn't check in with Mob Ties, you were risking your safety. I mean, Mob Ties derives from Young Mafia. I started Young Mafia, we used to call it Young Mob. Uh -huh. I started Young Mob, me and a couple of the homies. Started Young Mob probably early high school, like my 10th grade year. Started an entity where I brought all the different sides of town together. Some have accused Mob Ties of extortion, but others see it as a necessary part of the street politics in Houston. Either way, the message is clear. Mob Ties holds the power, and if you want to operate in Houston, you need their blessing. In June 2020, Mob Ties made headlines after an incident involving NBA Youngboy, one of the biggest young stars in hip-hop. While Youngboy was away from his Houston home, members of Mob Ties allegedly broke into his garage and stole several items, including the keys to his McLaren. The footage of the break-in went viral, and the hip-hop community waited to see how Youngboy would respond. Rather than back down, Youngboy went on Instagram Live and called out the Prince family, stating that he didn't need anyone's protection. But Jay Prince Jr. wasn't about to let that slide. He fired back, publicly calling young boy dumb as a box of rocks and posting a video of himself holding the keys to the rapper's car. The message was clear. Mob Ties is in control 
and if you cross them, you will pay the price. This incident demonstrated the power mob ties held over the new generation of hip-hop artists. Even Youngboy, one of the most successful rappers of his generation, wasn't immune to the influence of the Prince family. But perhaps the most tragic incident involving the Prince family came on Halloween 2022. Take off? One third of the iconic group Migos was shot and killed in Houston at a private party hosted by Mob Ties. Takeoff, along with Quavo, had been invited to a bowling alley for the celebration. What should have been a night of fun quickly turned deadly. Reports suggest that an argument broke out over a dice game and shots were fired. Takeoff, an innocent bystander, was hit and killed. The footage from that night shows J. Prince Jr. casually walking away from the scene, sparking outrage and raising questions about Mob Ties' involvement. While no charges have been filed against Mob Ties, the incident has brought even more scrutiny to the organization. Many in the hip-hop community are asking whether the princes have gone too far. The Prince family's rise to power is a story of hustle, connections, and unwavering respect. From the streets of the Fifth Ward to the boardrooms of major record labels and sports organizations, the princes have built an empire that extends far beyond music. But with great power comes great scrutiny, and the controversies surrounding mob ties have put the family in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. At the end of the day, what J. Prince truly desires is respect. Well, I don't desire to be feared. I desire to be loved, if, uh, if that's possible. But most of all, I, I just want to be respected, you know, and uh, we, we demand that from uh, uh, a lot of people. But then there are those that don't respect nothing. As we look to the future, one question remains. Can the Prince family maintain their grip on the hip-hop world? Or will the controversies surrounding them eventually lead to their downfall? Whether you love them or fear them, one thing is certain. The Prince family has left an indelible mark on hip-hop. They've built an empire based on power, respect, and control, and their influence shows no signs of waning. But with incidents like the tragic death of Takeoff casting a shadow over their legacy, only time will tell if they can continue to rule the rap game. What do you think about the Prince family? Is their power in hip-hop justified, or have they gone too far? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dives into the world of hip-hop's biggest power players. Until next time, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. Peace.